Hello YouTube! Today I'm going to give you guys a review on an item that is small, lightweight, concealable, non-expensive, effective, and if used correctly, non-lethal. Bam! There you have it. There's your baton. This review is on the ASP collapsible baton. There's four sizes for this baton. There's a smaller than the one shown here, 16 inch baton. This is a 21 inch when extended, these sizes are of course. A larger 26 inch and a monster 31 inch baton. All sizes of the ASP baton feature this extremely comfortable foamed vinyl grip which provides a durable hold that will not slip out of your hand no matter what your conditions are. Barehanded, glove, no matter what. Wet, dry, snow, ice, rain, I've used it in all of these conditions and it does not lose its grip. It's very comfortable and very ergonomical. The steel is 4140 high carbon steel which is strong and what that steel has is it has more carbon in it which makes it stronger than a standard a standard steel so your 4140 is very strong which is good for beating things with which is what the baton is for um, there's several types of ass baton uh, you can get a chrome black chrome airweight electroless nickel and the federal version as I said before this is the 21 inch federal design. Alright guys, some size and weight on this baton. Um, this is the 21 inch as I studied before. It weighs 1.2 pounds and collapses to 7 3 quarter inches, which you're at right now. And as you can see, I have a normal hand, nothing big, nothing too small, and it fits very nice in my hand. Um, this, that is why this is the most popular model. Um, it's used as a non-lethal force for law enforcement and military worldwide. It's um, it's a, it's a sturdy piece of equipment and it's proven through the agencies that use it. Uh, if you want to go something smaller and lighter, you can go with the compact 16 inch design which weighs 0.94 pounds and collapses to 6 inches. Um, if you want to beat on something really big, you can go for the 26 or the 31 inch, um, which in their own right weigh 1.46 and 1.6 pounds, collapses to 9.5 and 11 inches respectively. Um, they're big. The downside to those big batons is they're heavy and you can't conceal them very well. Um, I really think that the only time that you would ever want to use a 20, what is it, 26 inch or a 31 inch baton would be next next to your bed at home or if you're driving your truck or your car and you keep it in there all the time. That size and weight isn't going to bother you and you get a little extra reach which is which is good but it's not very concealable so it's not very good to carry. That's why this 21 inch is the most popular model. Alright guys, I'm going to show you how to expand your expandable baton here. Uh, basically, what you've got here is your grip end. You're going to grip it firmly, one to two inches from the base. That's your, your pinky from the base of the, the baton. You're going to flick, sounds stupid, but like a wand, you're going to flick the baton out. And gravity will extend and lock your, your, your business end of your baton, your extended portion, in place. Now, when you do this, you don't want to play around. If you if you limp wrist it, you're you're going to get a stupid result, and it's not good. Train like you fight. Flick it out there and make it stick. So, again, you flick like a wand, and it will go out. Gravity's all you got, so make it count. There you go. There's your baton. It's that quick. So you draw, you pull, you got it. All right. So that's how you're going to extend it. Now to collapse it, you're going to reverse your grip. So you've got it facing down towards the ground like that. What you're going to do is you're going to jam the end, the extended tip, directly onto the ground. You need a hard surface. Um, now remember this is 4110 carbon infused steel. If you do this on mom's floor, if you do this on Italian tile, if you do this even on some cements, that that is going to break before this baton. So be smart about where you do it. Don't do it somewhere that can get damaged. Now you're going to strike down, well again, like you mean it, directly down onto the surface of something hard, and the uh, the friction lock will break and will collapse into the handle. So it will look something like this. Yep. See, can't do it with the uh, camera there. It's kind of hard. All right, now why do I like Asp over other brands? Well, the accessories. How can you accessorize a baton? Like, what are you talking about, man? You're crazy. It's it is what it is. Well, they have different um, attachments that you can use. They have attachments 
that you take this cap off here, um, just screws off. You take this cap off, and all you have to do is screw a, an attachment on that you have to buy separate. Um, they have ones that, that flare out that can increase your grip, so if you slip all the way down, there's a flare out portion that keeps your hand on there. They have ones that have holes drilled in them for lanyards to keep them around your wrist as well. Um, they actually have one that when you have your baton extended, you can clip it onto the end and it's a mirror, so you can poke that around corners. Pretty, pretty effective tool, um, especially for you law enforcement guys out there. Um, home defense too. You can you can peek around corners if somebody's if somebody's snooping around without sticking your neck out, and that's always good. Um, out of all the accessories on your baton, which I didn't name them all, I have one favorite. That favorite is. Let me grab it here. Whoa, whoa, what is that? That is a flashlight. Check that out. How cool is that? It's a very bright flashlight. This is called the, let me get the correct name here as I'll mess it up. Again, it's by ASP, as you can see. Let me get in focus there. ASP brand. Um, Tactical Triad LED end cap. This is 6160 T6 Aerospace Aluminum, which is coated in the same black that your baton is, so it matches nice. Um, it is sealed with an O-ring inside to keep it fairly water resistant. Um, it doesn't claim to be waterproof, but it is water resistant, so walking through the rain and stuff, your light is still going to work. Um, pretty good. You don't want a light that's not going to work because it's sprinkling outside. It uses uh, two CR123 batteries with a runtime of one hour. Wow, dude, that sucks. Yeah, one hour is not good, but the reason is it's kind of bright in here, you can't tell, but that's a 240 lumen LED light. It's bright. Um, you can extend this part here. This is where your batteries go. Um, you can extend it to get a 3-1-2-3 battery or a 4-1-2-3 battery extension, which will, the two, or the, I'm sorry, the 3 cell gives you 2 hours of runtime, and the 4 hour, the four cell gives you 3 hours of runtime. I like this. Um, really, I'm only going to be using this light very very rarely so one hour total runtime is not a bad deal for me um, mileage may vary you might need a little bit more light you can get that as offers that um, there is like I said this all you do is twist this end it you can hear listen it clicks on and off which I like you can really feel what it's doing um, I don't know what exactly the prescribed philosophy of use on this is but for me um, my main thing I think tactically all the time is I'm gonna have this flashlight on boom crash in the night what do I do well the house is dark I'm gonna turn this on okay I'm gonna have it extended of course so I've got my extended baton light on on the end I'm gonna have it gripped correctly ready to go over my shoulder now I can see what I'm my target if something comes in front of me, where you're going to be striking, you can identify your target, bam, hit it, retract, and still look at what your target's doing. So every swing, you're seeing what's going on. That's what I would use it for. That's my tactical thinking. Now, your, again, mileage may vary. You may want it for your wife. You might live in the city, like I do. Um, you might live in a not-so-great section of the city. You might have a dog. Okay, walk the dog. Put this on your waist. You need to clean up the dog's business. You can see what's going on. Somebody comes around. They're not going to know that just this part is not a regular flashlight. When you give it a flick of the wrist, they're not going to stick around. So it's good. It's good to have. It's a good accessory that I really like. Um, price on this, this tactical light right here, which again, it screws off see right here. So let me get that retaining clip. That's your light right there, which will work without it, without the baton. Price on this is uh, anywhere from, I've seen it from $50 to $70. Um, well worth it. If you're going to get the baton, you might as well get something to really make it worthwhile. Now I'm going to give you guys a little example of how to break down your batons um, for maintenance or just general inspections. So I'll give you that. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to take your baton and... You're going to hold on to the extended, extended portion, or the, the grip end, I'm sorry. You're going to take off your end cap, which 
Lefty Lucy, take it off. Bam. There is your end cap. Okay. Here you can expect, right in here you've got an O-ring, which makes it water resistant inside. Um, you can take the whole thing out. Boom. There's your innards. So you've got your inside, your, I'm sorry, your end cap, your extended portion, which is not extended, your grip portion. Take your retaining clip out. Right here. That, can, that does wear out. You can replace that. And then you've got your extended portion. That's all you've got. That's it. That's how you break down your baton. Those pieces. Yeah, it's a little dirty. Put it back together. Just to reverse. Slide it in. Retaining pin. End cap. You're ready to go. And I think that covers some of the basics of your 21 inch ASP collapsible baton. Um, actually, that's a pretty good comparison there. You can see standard grip and what the tactical triad light, bleh, tactical triad light gives you there. Um, 240 lumen light, Ooh, bright, 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 very bright. Um, I told you this is about 50 to 70 dollars. Um, the range, the price range on this. Um, depending on the size, I'm not going to break down by, by size, you can go ahead and look that up yourself. But the baton itself ranges from $50 to $100. Um, it's well worth it. Now, you need to remember that when you're carrying your baton, it's not legal everywhere. Check your local laws. If you're going to break them, that's on you. I'm not telling you don't do it. By all means, whatever you need to do to protect yourself or your family or your pets, your, your property, whatever it might be, do it. But if it's illegal and you get caught, stand by for punishment because you, you might get it. So check with your local laws. This is not legal to have everywhere. Um, and remember, if you are going to use this as a non-lethal weapon, use it as a non-lethal weapon. That means hit somebody in the extremities, arms and legs. If you hit somebody with a baton in the head, the neck, torso, groin area, most places this Small, lightweight, concealable, inexpensive, you know, non-deadly, non-lethal weapon. You hit them in the head, neck, torso, groin, it is now a lethal weapon and you will be charged with it. So be careful. Defense, protect yourself, but be smart about it. I hope this helped you guys out. Um, if you got any questions or comments, leave them below. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. This is my first gear review, but there will be many, many more. I um, hope this is informative. Hope you guys get out there and uh, aren't afraid to protect yourselves. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like it. Drop a comment.